This is not good. We lost the sheep. We haven't even been in the sheep business for three hours. I've already lost the sheep. This is where we're at, baby. <sighs> Creek, tree, you and me. Get a sheep, they said. Let your kids show a sheep, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Hey y'all. Well, this is a story about the day we brought sheep home and we lost sheep and we realized how different sheep are than cows and how much we actually have to learn about sheep. Good morning, y'all. Well, we're actually experiencing day three. I think it's day three of sunshine. So that's different and amazing and very welcome. Morning, Elmo. Hey, you gonna talk to me? You not gonna talk to me? Elmo, Elmo's eating hay. You always talk to me. Hey. Hey, buddy. Is that good hay? Is that good hay? Do you want some feed? Huh? You got water. I'll give you a little more hay. These two are working hard. Got the baby, baby John Deere out. Cleaning the stall for its new visitors coming tomorrow. Got a cold. It doesn't smell good, does it? <laughs> Cleaning out some really old hay. <laughs> are clean. Tomorrow they come. Well, today's the day. Elmo's friends are arriving. I'm going to tell you about it. I really am. I'm just prolonging it as long as I can because, you know, suspense and all. Um, let's see, where's my husband? He's feeding. I've taken the kids to their homeschool co-op. I will be picking one of them up early who wants to go with us to get said friends. My son has a little project to present in his history class that he didn't want to miss, so just our girl is going with us. Anyway, Bonnie and I are going to feed some cows, and then we need to go get some feed, and it's going to be, it's going to be a busy, jam-packed day, so Let's do this. Whew. Um, I was thinking the other day, my tires, I don't think they're actually made out of rubber. I think they're actually magnets that find and are attracted to every pothole and um, mud hole, every mud hole on the farm and every 
every pothole on the road. It's true. All right. Half a banana and some peanut butter is what I'm trying to get out of my teeth. Breakfast of farm wife. I was going to say champion. Just farm wife. Okay. He's waiting. He's got one load of silage already loaded. I bet he's here in the Zuki waiting for us. Bonnie, let's see. He's got them all. He's got the buckets all filled. He's ready to go. All right. We're going to park in the sunshine. And super happy to see it again. Well, I guess BB has decided he doesn't want to wait at the gate anymore. Kind of hurts my feelings. Why aren't you at the gate anymore, buddy? to getting stuck as Susie's come. She made it. Shoo. I wasn't sure about that one, y'all. The troughs that were back here that we've been feeding out of, he moved over there where they're not in the mud soup. Not for now, anyway. They might be if it rains anymore or the more they tromp it down, but it was just, it was way, getting way too deep. So maybe that'll help for a little bit, for a little while. I have a bearing issue, or burn issue, as LB would say. You might have heard that squeak. I'm gonna go get the gun. Grease gun. Grease gun time. Oh yeah. This is a two-person job and I'm having to squeeze the trigger. I need my GoPro. Whoopsie daisy. Anyway, never fails when we're in a hurry that we have to stop and work on something. <laughs> I see it. I mean, I see one. No one back in there. Oh. Hoping that fixes it. Everything's greased. Including us. <laughs> see how much time is in It's enough for that group. Take two or three. Spinning wheels. Oh boy. 
Come on, girl. I need to go pick up my son later. <laughs> so I'm following the trailer to the interstate. I'll hop in the truck. We'll go pick up our our new friends and come back. I'll get my truck, go get my son, then we'll go home. And we're gonna play some with some new new farm new farm mates, animals, friends. And I don't know why I'm keeping, I don't know why I'm not even just saying it because it's going to be in the title of the video, but just humor me. Pretend like you don't already know. Okay. And we're off. Are you excited? What? Okay. I haven't told everyone yet, but it's going to be in the video title. So anyway, what are we going to get? Sheep. Sheep. We're going to get sheep. Sheep. Two sheep. One for each child. We'll own them for two months. About two months. They're gonna show in their very first ever livestock show. We hope. <laughs> then we'll make lamb chops out of them. No, we're not gonna make lamb chops. <laughs> we're not gonna Russell make lamb chops. Russell said he made his lamb chops. <laughs> we're not gonna make, we're gonna sell them. They're gonna be sold. Yeah. Which, which we know, right? Hello. You understand that, right? Oh, telemarketers every day. All right. It's going to be a good experience. I think it will be. So, here we go. We're going to go pick out our sheep. See what Elmo thinks about them. See what Elmo thinks about them, yeah. I think Elmo will have some little playmates for a couple months. Well, stall. Stall mates. Next door mates. Whatever. <laughs> What'd you just tell me? Um, if it's a girl, I'm gonna name it Olive. And if it's a boy, I'm gonna name it Oliver. Okay. Oliver, Oliver. I love both of those. Those are good names. We'll see. Yeah, we're early, but we're not the first. Okay. There's our new babies. <laughs> um, yeah, one got loose already. Got loose before we even got in the trailer. So there we go. What do you think? <laughs> Mine got loose. Yours got loose. It would be ours that would get loose. 
first stop feed store. I've actually bought them, already bought them some feed, but forgot about the troughs. Y'all gonna need something to eat out of, aren't ya? Huh, babies? We're gonna get home soon. They're scared. I tried to sit my hand. <laughs> How about that? Give a shout out to the Southern States here in Chatham, Virginia. I gave her a, a bucket to get a show bucket to get started with, right? Get shampoo, show sheen, comb, curry comb, a bucket, and a scoop. How cool is that? Good thing we stopped, right? <laughs> Well, this is not good. We lost the sheep. We lost it. It got past us cutting off the trailer. And uh, we ran it through the cow pasture. Tried to jump on it, couldn't get it. It went through the woods to the neighboring lot. I'm listening, looking. Hear something. This is not good. We've lost the sheep. We haven't even been in the sheep business for three hours. We've already lost the sheep. I found it. I got eyes on it. Thank God. Thank you, God. I haven't totally lost the sheep. But I definitely don't know how to get it. And how in the heck, even if I did, I'd get it up from here in this bottom. I just don't want to lose sight of it. That sounds like a cow. Okay, I just lit on my butt down his heel. I see you, baby. You can't go across there, can you? If I can run you back up the hill, maybe. Maybe. We can get you back in the pasture where a dog can help steer you home. Hey, baby. I know you're scared. I'm not really sure about all this either. I got eyes on it. I don't want to lose you again, though. I know you're scared. I can't get across there. Hold on, baby. I mean, I could shimmy across that long. But then what? Then you're just going to run away again, aren't you? Is that what's going to happen? This is where we're at. This is where we're at, baby. <sighs> Creek, tree, you and me. That's where we gotta figure this one out. I just gotta get my hands on you. <laughs> Somehow I gotta get my hands on you. Huh? What if I just scoot across here? And hope. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna turn this off and see what I can do. Well, he jumped the creek. There he is. Get a sheep, they said. Let your kids show a sheep, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Daddy wins. <laughs> Daddy got him. Good job, LB. Oh my gosh, I thought we were going to have lamb chops. <laughs> no, I think the coat is going to have lamb chops. I did too. Now you get a cold run around. Okay. All right. Do not let this sucker go. <laughs> All right. For nothing. No. No. Yeah. I do not let him go after what we did this. Yeah, take a break right here and hold him. Huh? Got him back in the barn. He's definitely out of breath. Try to get him some water and he went and drink. But. You have to get a cattle panel and put it, cut it, and put it up here. Trying to sheep-proof. If there is such thing as sheep-proofing, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, everybody's back together. That's good. Mm. Sitting here trying to think, what are the lessons we're learning already within an hour or two of this? Jesse can't get out. <laughs> the dog can't get out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got him back in. We didn't get him back in. That black mine. Super was, fast? My mind, mine was the same with him. <laughs> Elmo? You can't even see your new buddies, can you? Oh, I smell them. All right, babies. Hope you stay in here. I just stepped in. Oh, it didn't step too. Whatever. Oh, step over the gate. Just walk right there to shave and see if they come up here to the water and feed that back up. I say, I don't know nothing about sheep, but I know something about animals. And they're like us. Said Gus, look, watch this. Gus, you rather be a sheep oh. dog or dead dog? <laughs> Good boy. I think you helped a little bit. Yeah. I know it helped. <laughs> he did. At least he blocked him and stopped him. <laughs> he blocked him and stopped. <laughs> mm. That sheep was loaded for bear. He was getting out of here. Yeah, I don't know. We had a little talk down at the creek. Yeah, me and you did. I really felt like you were going to let me shimmy across there and just catch you. We were talking. I was talking. Nope. He said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> but I like to say, thank you very much. Step up one more time. And stay against the wall. Stop. Wesley got a good traipse through the wood, too, didn't he? <laughs> got a little sweaty. We all got a little sweaty. All right. Walk back against the wall slowly. Hey, gosh, you just burped <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> good job. They're eating their hay. They'll find their feed and their water. They're happy to be together. I sure am happy to see y'all together in that pan. Because that really, 
I mean, that dude sailed over you. I was trying to get his foot out, and by the time I pulled his foot out, I seen sheep go across there. <laughs> he sailed over mama. <laughs> I was trying but, to get one out of the trailer, and the other one just, yeah, he just sailed. He went, Choo! gone, gone. And then he went for a neighborhood run. That, I mean, that sheep did some traveling. <laughs> and then, so did I. So did Wesley. Is that good, Elmo? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I really didn't think we were going to get him back. I really didn't. <laughs> I said a little prayer, and about 20 seconds later, Daddy, Daddy tackled it and got it. So, thank yeah, you, God. Fell on him. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy fell on him. Daddy tripped fell on him. <laughs> No, he I'm, fell on him on I purpose. Learned, I know that one. I was going to hit the ground. I just know. <sighs> I almost had that rope. I almost had, I mean, I was in two inches of it. And when he moved, I, I learned. Did you fall, Wesley? What? Did you ever fall? I did. I tripped over. I did get some briars on my. When we were in the um, like, oh, horse well. pasture. <clears throat> When you're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. if I was sitting right behind the mule on the on that yeah, side, if you'd, have, if you'd have got out, you could have just about caught him when you come around the mule because he come right behind. Oh well, if a frog, if a frog <coughs> had wings, but it doesn't. All's well that ends well, they say. Let's hope this ends well. Yeah, I was coming. Ooh, mama comes with. The sheep ain't in here. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's in here because I've been hearing him holler from over here. Oh, yeah, we left the black sheep in the pen and when we got back, it was out in it. And it was in another stall. <laughs> it had gotten in another stall. Wait, he got in the other stall? He was in this one first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought, thought y'all put him in there. <sighs> I said, he's going to get out. That's going to put the line up there. Well. <laughs> anyway. We'll go to the cattle pound tomorrow. We'll go to the other state and get a cattle pound. They're 16 foot. Okay. We're going to cut it and put it on the gate. He's Mine's drinking. Like Yay. I want him to drink some water. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to come check on him in a little bit after supper. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna make it. Okay, we're going to check on the sheep. <laughs> I just, I just need, need to make sure that they're still there. Yeah. Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> hey, Elmo. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Okay, everybody's in here. Everybody's safe and sound. Not sure about that little doggy right there, though. So we have Geronimo, the one that escaped. His name Geronimo, the white one. The black one is Olive. Yes. Olive. She looks like Olive. She's cute. All right, babies. Mm-hmm. They like to stay together. What is it, Bonnie? No, you can't get in there. Nope. 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 Yes, Elmo, I know. <laughs> She's not gonna hurt you. No. Catch me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. There you go. <laughs> 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 you lay down. You lay down. <laughs> All right, 
Everybody's tucked in for the night. Let's go get tucked in for the night, Bonnie.